across the country. Rory Catherine Jones, BBC News. Well, our correspondent Sarah Walton is at Covent Garden in central London where folks have now been accessing 5G. Uh, no snafus, no problems so far. Well, hopefully not, and I do hope you're hearing us loud and clear because we are broadcasting over the 5G. The BBC has today become the first British broadcaster to go live using a commercial uh, 5G internet connection. Uh, if we are breaking it though, that may be because, as you heard in Rory's report, the coverage is still at the moment a little bit patchy. Just to demonstrate, uh, this is a 5G-enabled phone. It's connected to the EE network here in the centre of London, and we're actually only getting a speed of 40 megabits per second. Now that's the equivalent of what you would get off your home internet connection. But he says in their testing they've been getting speeds of up to 800 megabits per second. Now if we all started getting that on our mobile phones, what it means is that the sort of things we do all day long on our phones, uh, streaming music, downloading TV programs and films and, uh, and uh, putting photos on social media, we could do that almost instantaneously. So still only available in a few places at the moment. Okay, but it's gonna okay. Be Sarah, I'm going to have to interrupt you there because bizarrely the 5G line isn't working properly. So uh, apologies to our viewers for that.